They know going in that police work means putting your life on the line. Last year, 145 men and women died in the line. NBC 10 DC correspondent Bree Jackson looks at what law enforcement advocates believe needs to be done. 2018 was a deadly year for those who protect and serve. They gave their all. They died in the line of duty. Craig Floyd is with the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund. The nonprofit's 2018 report found firearms caused the most deaths and were up 15 percent compared to 2018. Floyd says in many of those cases, officers were just trying to do their jobs. It was attempting to make an arrest. That was the number one cause. Uh, however, you go down the list, uh, domestic uh, violence calls. Probably the most dangerous call an officer can go on. The names of the officers killed in 2018 will be etched on the memorial wall here in Washington, D.C. Supporters say it's a way to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. You know, it hits home when it happens to your department or it's somewhere close to you. Last year, John Plassey traveled from Indiana to the memorial wall following the shooting death of Officer Rob Pitts. Pitts name will be added to the memorial wall in May. Law enforcement officials say in addition to recognizing fallen officers, agencies are working to improve training and provide better equipment to keep officers safe. Floyd says the public can play a part too by following state move over laws. That requires drivers to act when officers are responding to a call. Uh, you must slow down and then if you have the opportunity and can do it safely, move over a lane. Floyd says traffic related fatalities were the second leading cause of police deaths. By raising awareness, officials hope to keep officers and communities safe. In Washington, Bree Jackson, 